episode of Hard Factor. It is Friday, April 2nd, 2021, episode number 659 of Hard Factor. That's 10 away from 669, which is going to be pretty fucking sweet. That's uh, right. And if you just take the five out, it is 69. So It's also going to be pretty sucking True. sweet. Yeah. Both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeaster, Keister, and the Deester. We got Mark, Wes, Pat, and I'm Will. Uh, Wes, a little catch up from yesterday's episode. So people had some words for you today on those Godzilla spoilers and uh, not being an organ donor. I'm also not an organ donor. Feel feel the heat you caught on that one, too. Uh, Mm -hmm. Any words for the haters, Wes? No, I mean, uh, you know, we did... I felt I did feel a little bad. We got a a, a DM from a, a guy who was saved by an organ donor. But listen, my stance on this uh, <laughs> He's shitting on his existence. Oh man! Listen, my stance on this whole thing is is I'm doing someone a favor by not being in the pool, and but if you being unlucky enough to get my shitty kidneys or shitty yeah. liver, I'm yeah, giving uh-huh. you. I'm I'm doing. I'm I'm skipping the line for you, right? To someone that's got much better organs. So you you're don't welcome. want the you don't want the doctors to make that decision. You just right. want to take yourself out on the outside i look okay i'm with west yeah they don't want my fatty liver either wait are you saying that uh someone would rather be dead than have your liver what kind of pain are you in no i'm saying someone (laughs) that's that's what i heard pat i'm saying someone would rather get a much better liver you think it's just a million livers you think it's a (laughs) never-ending supply of donor livers isn't it better ones aren't there other organs too that you could give up like can't you give up like an eyeball or no i look don't you have perfect vision i looked at them there's intestines there's Uh liver there's kidneys there's heart all those are just terrible um yeah. yeah so okay all right. Yeah, I mean, Trust well, me. you've got a rationale well, for it. Wes <laughs> rattled some cages with the Godzilla and the, and the organs. It was awesome. Yeah, I had a guy say he's going to unsubscribe if Godzilla was really dead. Um, <laughs> well, he I didn't know. He is. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. That's Sorry. a horrible spoiler. Uh, now, though, it's April 2nd. Uh, so we, we've moved on. And April 2nd today is not only Good Friday, but also, hold on show you guys it's great it's, friday it's great friday it's international fact checking day which is probably bad for us mm. um it's also peanut butter and jelly day and world autism day which is actually like a powerhouse lineup as far as that days is a, go that is a stack day you're yeah. leaving kids yoga day out yeah. Yeah. national ferret day yeah those yeah. don't make the cut from what the, the <laughs> yeah, ones fa- will mention yeah. ferret day yeah no i felt like world <laughs> autism day had a little bit more heft to it Right. Why the fuck are kids doing yoga? They they just that they sounds just dangerous. Run. Look, yeah, I'd look into the instructors of that. Yeah, <laughs> kids don't need to be doing yoga, man. Yeah, we this have, is a red flag. We have covered that <laughs> gurus, you, yoga yeah. gurus, oftentimes that leads. That's a slippery slope. I'd like to see the Venn diagram of ex uh, scout leaders that are now <laughs> heading up kids yoga classes. It's a cop out uh, now with <laughs> online learning. My son is, does some yoga stuff because they can't make him run. So right. now he's in there. He's in this like, confined room doing Stretching. some yoga. Yeah, just something. Well, what's Dude. the pitch? Like, hey, uh, do you want a more flexibility nine year old? Like, like, yeah. I- I'm sorry, but, you know, <laughs> Are you suffering from back and neck pains? Yeah, yoga yeah, is an old right. man's game. For it's supposed to be. I mean, that's like why it exists, right? To like keep your body limber. That yes. and so gurus can and, bang and your spirit. Ne- yes, yeah. so gurus can a bang never it. ending stream, a liver, a liver organ donor like stream of, <laughs> of uh, young ladies. That yeah, is what it is, really. That's what I Vikram mean. did. Vikram, Vikram yoga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's and he he literally has like the most popular style of yoga named after him. Hot yoga, Bikram yeah. yoga. Yeah, he invented hot yoga. He's that still guy just he's still all of his patients. Even or after his... the documentaries labeling him a, a sexaholic, you know, sexual assaulter guy, there's still people worshiping him. Like he's still doing it, just not in the U.S. Good to be a yogi. Yeah, it's good to be a yogi. All right, fellas, we ready to hop into the daily buzz? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a short one today because later on, I need to get to a very important international news update. Uh, so we have a top five. And at number five is CrossFit. CrossFit's trending uh, not because CrossFit uh, did anything exceptional as a sport, but because Marjorie Taylor Green, everybody's uh, favorite QAnon subscribing uh, congresswoman, posted a video saying that CrossFit, so her home CrossFit gym, is her COVID protection and also to fire Fauci. So 
Um, you guys saw the video, I'm sure. Where she did like some 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 uh, shoulder presses, and then she did like the CrossFit butterfly swinging yeah. pull ups. I and- call it special needs pull ups. Is what she did. Now I'm yeah. not saying oh. I'm not saying they're not hard, <laughs> but. Uh, can we talk about this real quick? So her, her pull ups suck. Well, I mean, that's we, the CrossFit. That's the butterfly to, CrossFit. Hang pull-ups. on, Pat. She says she says that this is her protection from COVID. The gym. It's also her complete lack of respect for COVID in her brain that is uh, her protection from COVID. Well, right. That's true. Yeah. It's, presumably, this means she just doesn't approve of masks or the vaccine. I would well, I would think. I I honestly but, thought it was a dumb spin that the news organizations picked it up, and it was like she says that exercise prevents COVID. It's not about that. It was just her flexing of how fit she was. Right. And coming at Fauci, which like this is the second time this week someone's come at Fauci's athletic prowess. First, it was Donald Trump coming at Fauci about his not being able to get it to the home plate during his first pitch. Now it's Marjorie Taylor Greene just working out hard. Oh, you think this fire Fauci? You, you think that was just like a Fauci couldn't do this post? He can't, I think he can't I, lift. I, I he think he can't she, lift this much weight. Yeah. I think wow. she was just like, uh, look how fit I am. Also, what's going to rile up the cures? It was yeah. a good. Uh, uh, well, I'll give her this. The show, the but the pull ups were terrible. The shoulder presses, though, was actually a pretty good weight for a female. Are those normal 25s? Those are the biggest. Well, I've never was, seen 25 well, pound plates spread a, 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 across the, like so much surface area. Those are CrossFit 25s. Okay. Those are like so you can drop the weights and scream and they bounce all over the place. Right, like, yeah, like rubber. She, they're rubber. Yeah. yeah, bigger yeah and rubbery. The rubber plates. But yeah, Expensive. she really. Really lit the internet on fire. They are expensive, Wes. Those pull-ups, while Pat thought they were special need, Wes and I on the Patreon show thought they were dick-breaking pull-ups. That were I think very, very re- re- reminiscent of how she probably rides cowgirl style and snaps dicks off if they <laughs> fall out of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't Can do it-, it while the parents are home, that's for sure, with Marjorie <laughs> Taylor Green. Can it be both? I think both you guys are right on that Could one. Be good. Yeah, uh, okay. Number four. Uh, like bag of special <laughs> needs <laughs> <laughs> super fit yep super fit that's her protection against covid uh number four new bts uh song is out called film out which is going nuts on youtube uh bts if you're not familiar it's like k-pop asian, right? it's k-pop it's like asian in sync dude they're like so, the most one of the most um, talented uh girl groups i've seen in like forever well, i thought dude it's dudes i think i think it's dudes no pretty it's not sure dudes. are you sure bts dude it's dudes I sure. I there's the, no way it's all the video today it's wait dudes, do you, have, sure. you see, have you seen them and you think it's i watched girls? the video today it's like it's six lesbians i'm pretty sure oh you don't have a stick tell me i'm wrong though oh, i'll tell you i'll tell you a crowd he's doing love, he's doing shtick i'll tell you a crowd's gonna love that joke is the second highest trending youtube uh crowd right now clash of clans they have uh they have some what? big so bts and clash of clans is dominating youtube I used to be a a clanner uh, for about a year. My buddy is really into it and he has his own group and he uh, got into it. And then like to even compete, I was throwing out like 50, 60 bucks a month on like upgrades. Oh, it's all about like buy once you're in. You got to be playing every day. Yeah, you got to be playing every day. I can't even look at my bill. Yeah, that's my only. It's like my (laughs) my only vice really these days is I don't even look at my iTunes bill. I can't. You boom beach it, right? (laughs) Yeah. They get me every fucking week because yeah. it's a cycle of repeating uh, maps. So like Monday's a certain map, Tuesday's a certain map. <laughs> and you get to Thursday, which is like my favorite map. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy an upgrade because you can totally play it. If you just you got to wait 24 hours. But play no one it. does. Pat. No, one, That's, yeah. no one. Everyone pays every everybody. fucking week. They get five bucks out of me at least. Oh, this is a, this is an iPhone game, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's hmm. huge market. West. It's like second trending highest on YouTube behind Jeez. BTS. No, it's they a, have like they, they they have so much money they do like Super Bowl ads, like full ads. Clash yeah, it's, of it's, like, it's, it's crazy. Oh, that's the commercial that, 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 like that our editor our editor uh, sent in the in the chat where it was like the guy was on a stranded island and he couldn't have he didn't have power for his phone and then he figured out how to get power and you thought he was going to call someone but that yet he was playing this game was that Clash of Clans? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think, think so. Okay. okay, shout out Eric, uh, our, yeah. our social shout media editor. Yeah. Straight up, mm-hmm. that he has like a channel that just is that mobile gaming. Cool. There you go. That's true. He's probably all over that clash. Which I love. Video. Love mobile gaming. Absolutely. Well, that's why it's trending. Number three trend was April Fool's. Obviously, uh, mostly it was just tweets trending about people complaining about April Fool's. Uh, that was pretty much it. Any you guys see any good ones? 
at all. I, I saw that band Dispatch saying that they were touring with uh, throwback to number three trending. Um, what was the Korean girl group again? JBL or BTS? <laughs> <laughs> Pat's giving it to the K-pop industry hard here. We're going to listen control- to Japanese a Japanese album, a Japanese language. I don't know. Uh, no, that was the only one. Dispatch was touring the- with BTS. Michael, I think Wes is going to be getting some. He's going to be reprieved here because everyone's going to be coming for Pat's neck, the K-pop crowd. Uh, after oh this yeah, episode. I don't want that heat. Yeah. You think we got a lot of K-pop fans out there? I mean, there's the, just so the fucking. There's just so fucking many. They there's are numerous. A couple hundred, yeah. Dude, that BTS video, ha- like it trends like no other video on YouTube because people watch <laughs> the shit out of what the BTS. man has that nice of skin on his face. I mean, not there's not a the, man. These men in the Asian version of In Sync. In BTS, but they have so much money, they're probably getting like massaged and oiled every day. Oh, yeah. oh makeup up, makeup, yeah, Some, make tons up. of makeup. Yeah. Yes, these men are very pampered. Pat, uh, there was one good April Fool's I saw. Michael Strahan uh, said he was fixing the gap in his teeth. That was good. <laughs> that, that is fake. good. That yeah, I, you know, I didn't like the take of the people hating on April Fools because they're like, oh, it's been such a tough year. We don't need it. You, what? You, it's been such a tough year. You don't need laughter. You, you don't need, need like a little bit around. of jo- jo- surprising. A little bit of, like yeah. I don't like that take of we cancel April Fools because well, we've had a tough you know, year. You know, guess where that more, we need more fooling. Guess where that was the guess where that was the number one tw- trend. What? Twitter, obviously, oh. well, where, where everybody's fucking miserable. The um, UNC <laughs> coach leaving though, yeah. right? Is that was that a f- April Fool's? That's a tough. No, no, thought it was. You and you and C coach is the number two trend of going getting away from Twitter for the top two trends because Twitter's a cesspool. Uh, number two uh, trend was you and C coach Roy Williams retired on April Fool's morning, like you said, be little chuckle from the old uh, coaching legend there. You you see UNC. I think that he was doing it on purpose, like to yes. get a rise out of people. One billion percent. He knew he was going to retire. If he if he was retiring, he knew he was going to retire for a long time, and he waited. He waited till April first. My sister called me today and was like, "Literally, she's like, what's going on in sports today?" And I was like, "Why?" She's like, "Because <laughs> like, my husband is crying." Like, oh, actual. No. Oh, he's a big UNC fan. Huge UNC guy. Oh, no. Did he go to UNC? <laughs> yeah, um, he was not happy. My brother in law was not. Well, happy. yeah, because they got. I mean, they don't change coaches off. It's Dean Smith and Roy Williams. Like, yeah, what they do. went from Hall of Fame coach to Hall of Fame coach. <laughs> yeah. I'd have been crying that they didn't make the tournament, but I, I oh, just right. Yeah. They made but the now tournament. Now you think now they did. They were they were out the early, yeah. and I think that Duke didn't make the tournament. They played Duke NIT level ball. Let's let's be honest. Yeah, Duke and UNC had a had an off year. That's for sure. Very off. They'll be back though. Though something tells me the Tar Heels aren't done playing basketball. And the number one trend of Thursday was MLB opening day scores, lineups, odds, because people were just very excited about the new Major League Baseball season opening. There's open stadiums. There's gambling on endless day games, an immense amount of games. If you want to be a complete degenerate, it's a great time to be an American baseball fan. Or if you're like me, you can just focus on hockey again more. So, uh, Man, heading out to a day game at live, can't beat it. Yeah, baseball no, I, game at the park. I do, I do want to go to an MLB game this oh. year for sure. That sounds like one of the best things to do this couple summer. Couple beers, honestly. couple hot dogs, can't beat it. I, if, uh, your, if your state's allowing the the stadium set. Right. I was in the elevator with a guy today who had a Yankee shirt on, and this is the second time this has happened since I've moved to New Jersey, where I've complimented a man on something, <laughs> and or, or just I you know said something nice in their presence, and uh-huh. they can't take the compliment or be excited about the thing. I was like, Yankees, huh? Opening day, pretty exciting. And he's like. Yeah, I don't know. And it was Fuck second, you, brother. But he was like, you're wearing a Yankee shirt. Why Are you not stoked today? He's like, he, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. He just we'll see. put his palm over his butthole to prevent you from raping him. Same thing <laughs> happened outside of the hospital. I saw this guy with a sick yellow truck, and I was like, man, I like that truck. He's like, yeah, it's okay. It's yellow. He's like, I'm not going to let you do me in it. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> coming out of these guys. I'm just That's trying amazing. to be pleasant in front of them. But yeah. you just It's just like uh, it's a different a different environment out there. The jurors, they don't. Yeah, they don't like to be. They don't like to admit that Pat, things are good. You got to you got to just remember what your hair looks like every now and again when you give these guys compliments. <laughs> you think he's freaking them out? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Damn. Cold. Well, cold, Wes. No, cold. I'm just I'm just saying. Cold. But <laughs> also, Pat, you've been you've been in Texas, which like, you know, for better or worse, is a very friendly area to a lot of people. So like you can say you can be complimentary to to like strangers in Texas and they'll be like, they'll have a whole fucking conversation with you. That's not how it goes in the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm learning. I mean, it's open. You, you're you're remembering because we were there. We were there before. Yeah. It's different up here. Yeah, it's different. 
It's the same in DC though. People are yeah. dicks there too. That's what I'm saying. It's different the Northeast, including inclusive of like Northern Virginia on up. Yeah. Is uh, they're just like they're... I don't have time for you. No, I'm just walking fast. Yeah. No, I don't know. I guess. <laughs> okay. I'm a busy asshole. Yeah. Fuck me too. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Will. Is that uh is that the is that the trending? Is that the buzz? Bzz. That's the daily buzz, boys. Bzz. I got a buzz coming up too in mine a little bit later. And I'm and in fact we're going on a safari, guys. I kind of have a safari hat on. We're gonna call it that today at least mm. it's been a while so let's take a look at what the animals have been up to recently first up the world in art and photography organization wapo the lesser known wapo have announced that they <laughs> will no longer be accepting images of lions in their annual fine art wildlife competition uh which is called concept of nature they claim that lions are too photogenic and therefore provide an unfair advantage to those who have submitted them uh apparently i mean i mean they're not wrong about the photogenic part but yeah okay. the line I know, that's a, a good look what is this mark what like what what is the publication it's like a uh well, it's, it's, just, it's just some world and art and photography organization some magazine about like they, they just, have it um i actually saw this exhibit they have it like displayed at the smithsonian um and it, it, oh, wow. if you go it's fucking amazing if you That's go the, all, all the photos are up there it's it's really yes yeah, cool so they give out awards apparently west yeah, and, yeah. and apparently the judges have been giving all the awards th to the lion entries instead of the field mice or whatever the fuck the contestants wow. that are too scared <laughs> to get close enough to a lion in the wild to take a good picture of are doing and they've Powerful been complaining animal. yeah <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> yeah, the year I the year I went the winning image was like a, a, a like a grizzly bear running through the water. I was like, yeah, that looks amazing. It's yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the yeah the most dangerous animals are going to yeah. win. But uh, yeah. people are people have complained the lion out of the competition. So oh all come the, all on, the, all this the lion some... photographers can't even enter. <laughs> it's That's a like participation if you know... trophy style. Yeah, yeah right it's bullshit. There. If you know a pro athlete right uh, who's retired and you invite him or her to a pickup game, it's like that, right? Like you they, you can't bring them because well, just gonna... I mean. I don't know. It's it's a it's a competition for all wildlife, and just now they're saying this animal, the lion, is not. Well, no, what they're yeah. saying is because it's. I think like Pat, you're saying like the pro athletes are like the lion photographers, and then like the 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 JV athletes are like the caterpillar photographers, or every other animal. Yeah, right, exactly. And the caterpillar photographers are well, causing a stink. Look, like, that's, oh, nobody that's, will take my caterpillar submission. They're all in the same. They're all wildlife photographers. I'm sorry yeah. that you do caterpillars. Anyways, next up, Caitlin <laughs> Wurtenberger of Union Gap, Washington, was missing her cat Piper and looking everywhere for the very fat tuxedo cat that got away to no avail. A full month or 28 days after Piper went missing uh, and several failed flyer and door knocking campaigns later and a neighbor that moved into a house that was previously unoccupied when Piper first went missing started hearing meows and noises coming from the fireplace. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Turns out Piper was stuck in the chimney uh, for like a yeah. month. Uh, oh no yeah piper here's lost seven pounds Whoa. uh and was severely oh. dehydrated but but lived and has since recovered piper presumably was 26 pounds when she got away because piper's weight is now listed at 19 pounds after the seven pound <laughs> loss as a fat cat that's huge yeah can you contextualize that for us mark so unless oh. you have a Maine Coon, that's like a, a normal sized house cat's probably going to range between 10 and 15 pounds, uh, 15 being a relatively large house cat. Uh, anything over 20 is, is insane. Huge. Unless you yeah. have a Maine, Maine Coon cat. I had a, a huge cat that was 25 pounds and they said it was the fattest cat they'd ever seen in, a, in this 40 years of vets. At a, at a and fair this cat was vet. one pound heavier. This pound was heavier than that. Uh, so do we think that maybe someone who's a fat shamer in the family did the cat a court favor and uh quite possibly pat it's like you can we'll see you again when you can fit down the chimney and what i'd say <laughs> it'll come what down I, what i'd as say as yeah, come down, what i'd say to that too pat is they should probably put piper on the chimney diet every now and again because piper is going to gain that weight back so this is yeah. be like a yearly thing uh, uh mike my cat is is large mo mostly just because his body's so big he's, he's like 20 big. 20 plus pounds like regularly and sometimes i i want to just get him the food he doesn't like just so he loses a bunch of weight because yeah. like he'll he'll put he'll just pack it on if he's got food he likes he could get to an infinite amount of weight his body like. could get to 30 pounds if you're not careful Eas shout out easily shout out cats yawning on twitter and shout out to dutch hammer who just adopted a new cat next up <laughs> wes isn't the only one that loves a good deal at costco apparently ravens in alaska specifically in south anchorage like to get food at costco at the deal of for free from the customers after they have shopped for them and are walking to the parking lot uh nice. 
Olani Sanua has twice been a victim of the Costco parking lot Ravens. She lost an, quote, entire package of short ribs to a Raven after leaving the store. And she said, quote, it was like the bird was flying away with it because it was uh, Matt Llewellyn. <laughs> <laughs> who lost a single he lost a single short rib to the bird said they know what they're doing they're very fat so i think they've got a system down here what uh, why are they stealing only short ribs and fillets people so have lost full fillets me. Me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those are delicious but i made some short ribs from costco the other week oh, oh, oh bro, yeah. buddy those well, i mean it was like a it's like a steak candy bar it's just yeah. delicious that sounds good but don't expect to buy them and get them safe with your car in anchorage well uh, but Alaskan Ravens are built different. Everybody knows that. That's true. It's just a mess They're... in those parking lots. That's true. Yeah. Speaking of a mess in parking lots, a man shopping at the Albertsons in Las Cruces, Las Cruces, New Mexico, probably thought he may have been a little buzzed when he came out of the store after a 10-minute shopping spree. He said he was in there for 10 minutes, and then he saw that his 1980s Buick Century had been occupied by more than 15,000 bees in the 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Not kidding. What? Uh, the I'm man. That's like, <laughs> hey, look how many bees there are. Fifteen thousand. Well, how do you open the door? Uh, well, this was after the fact. At first, yeah. in fact, he, the man had left a window down, and by the looks of his piece of shit car, uh, it hadn't been rolled up since Clinton was in office, and the bees <laughs> took full advantage of that. So, now, according to the report in the New York Times, uh, he he quote uh, quote It wasn't until he had started to drive away that he noticed there was anything wrong or any bees, <laughs> according to the La Cruces Fire Department. So how do you not notice 15,000 bees buzzing in your car? Is he, should he be driving? Is he blind to death? Yeah. I love watching people who just have like the messiest cars imaginable. Dude, this car is around a piece public of shit. Like yeah. they have no, like, I mean, they, they're acting like nobody could see the inside of the car. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's packed full of shit. This guy's got bees. bees. He probably had papers from like the 90s in there. He probably had oh. a different colony of bees in there. Uh, yeah. He, yeah. So while driving, he, quote, turned back and looked and was like, holy cow. And he didn't know what to do because there's 15,000 bees. So he just called 911 and was like, there's bees in my car. According to Jesse Johnson, an off-duty firefighter and paramedic whose hobby happens to be beekeeping. So he could not have been the more perfect person to be the first responder wow. to this car full of bees. Jesse was having a barbecue with his family when he saw the bee signal go up. And he was like, another bee-related incident. I better... Uh, I better go deal with this. And he got all of the bees who were following, I guess, the queen into the car. That's what why they all got in there so quickly. They were looking for a new home. The queen went in. All the other bees. Got, he got them all in safely into a hive box, and they're being transported to a new house. Very oh, little wow. harm came to the bees and humans, except for one of Jesse's firefighter colleagues that isn't obsessed with bees, idiot. He got stung in the lip, uh, and oh. Jesse said they now call him Michael Rappaport. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> got him. Hey, uh, speaking of bees, real quick before you move on, uh, shout out Big Ounce. He got a, he got a new queen. So he's he tried to beekeep with Big Ounce in the Hardo Hive, a uh, longtime listener, uh, a frequent caller. He got a new queen bee. So he's going nice. to right. gonna try to uh, make more honey. Yeah, he then, like stepped on his queen. And then, he was like, <laughs> and then he was like, oh, I hope that one wasn't important. And then the entire colony died. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when the queen dies. <laughs> yeah, you can't kill the queen. So that's good. All right. Um, yeah, and lastly, guys, since it is indeed Friday, let's end this safari in Florida, mm. where, as you can see, in Vero Beach, Florida, the sharks and alligators are now friends. They are swimming side by side Whoa. at a pace with each other. So it's official. Sharks and gators are besties in Florida, which is probably not good for anything besides sharks. And Where gators. is it? Is that like in the Everglades right there? A bull shark it's, and a gator? It's like a little bit south and definitely east of Tampa and, and Orlando. So if you drew like an arrow from Tampa to Vero, you go slowly down. Um, it's it's like, yeah, it's it's middle to slightly south Sounds Florida like on, a the, on the coast. swampy area. Well, the sharks and gators are friends, so. Well, I mean, you don't go swimming there. It's like Australia. You don't go there anymore. That's what you don't do. You don't go swimming down yeah. there. Yeah. You don't go it's swimming like, down under. You don't go swimming in the Sunshine State. It's like when the mafia works together, like different families, like they have a code. That's scary, man. It's, it's really very scary. scary. Oh, cool. Shit. Uh, all right. Crazy. All right, guys. Uh, we just got some breaking news on the Matt Gates uh, case. According to CNN, Matt Gates is officially the horniest person to ever step foot in Congress. Uh, CNN has learned that Florida wow. man, out 
Ted Kennedy and, wow. and countless others. <laughs> There's yeah. been a lot of horny dudes in there. Wow. <laughs> now it's official. Now, uh, CNN has learned that uh, Florida man and U.S. Congressman Matt Gates is one of those dudes. And by one of those dudes, I mean one of those dudes that doesn't just kiss and tell. I mean, uh, who am I kidding? I kiss and tell. But Matt Gates is a kiss and show and tell guy. You catch my ah, drift? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a dude that shows nudes. He's a dude that shows <laughs> nudes. Correct. Some- According. Something yeah. about those guys, too, always makes me think that they probably take some of those picks uh, without the knowledge of the subject. 100%. Uh, a lot of Absolutely. times I feel that way. It, well, well, it's certainly without the knowledge of the subject saying uh, I'm going to show all my friends as well. Here she is. Just sleeping. in general. Just yeah. in general. I feel like a lot of these are uh, predatory pictures. Usually. Yeah. Aren't these great kind of guys sleeping? <laughs> yeah. sleeping? Exactly. <laughs> It's the fucking dude. These guys are the worst. Like we're, uh, I, I one time, a guy, I was working on a movie, and the guy uh, was like, "Hey, check this out," and he showed me a video, and it was one of our coworkers who was like probably thirty years his senior, mm-hmm. and married, blowing him, and I was, you oh, know, wow, he, you so know. you're on it with them then? Well, He's, you got to eject. You're like, yeah. whoa, what am I? Because when they show you the video. They purposely, you're like, what am I watching? And then it's like, bam. And then you're like, why did you show me that shit? <laughs> oh, and they also, they also, Pat, usually, uh, if this guy's like the kind of guys I've run into that also do this, they just shove the phone in your face. Check it There's, out. Like the video's playing and it just goes into your eyeballs and you're like, oh, fuck. and then they now say, what I'm do they say? Well, this video. they say hot, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that? I don't know if I give off. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I, I, don't know if, I if I get off a narc vibe, but I don't have that problem where people are historically showing me videos oh, of them having sex with people. Or you do have that vibe, Mark. Don't show this guy. Uh, yeah. Well, this, I like you're banging that. naked against her. Consent. I don't need. I don't need uh, acquaintances showing me their like girlfriends. It's just you, one of those. What things are you supposed just... to do? Then you're supposed to go over and hang out with them, like go to a barbecue or go to dinner with them. I think like, it's like. A, I think it is like one of those things where sometimes people are like, "Oh, this is cool. This guy's gonna think this is awesome. It's gonna be hilarious." And like he just, or like maybe they just love porn so much. They just it's like a Camaro, it. right? It's, it's small it's like, dick energy. Yeah, but it happens. Yeah. It's like here. I, look, I do get banged, I guess. Um, so according to multiple sources, Matt Gates, who is currently being investigated for possible sex trafficking, also like to show his colleagues in Congress pictures of all the women he was banging sometimes while on the House floor. So he's like, nay. Hey, Mike, check out the tits on this one. You believe she's 18. So uh, <laughs> uh, yay. Hey, Brian, check it out. Tennessee last month. She came. She came like a banshee. Um, so, yeah, that's what he's that's what he was doing on the House in floor votes in between votes. Yeah, it was McConnell. <laughs> How does a banshee come? Yeah. yeah. Very hard. Have you ever um, seen a banshee? It's like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, so according to at least two people who claim Gates showed them photos and videos on his phone, including one of a naked woman, woman wearing only a hula hoop, like, nay, hey, Greg, check out this video out until it make, it'll make you dizzy and hard at the same time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. Hoop- <laughs> that sucks for hula hoop girl, too, now, because she yeah. knows who she is. She knows, like, yeah. Oh, she! Yeah. Oh, for sure, unless she knows. Unless that's knows. Gates' thing, where he's like, t- he like. Well, and Gates, hula hoop. Gates, yeah. like with the age. Uh, yeah, you know, actually, hula hoops a bad look for him right now. Yeah, I, he was out of Toys yeah. R Us. I, I don't <laughs> feel bad actually, because you banged Matt Gates, so yeah, you you get what you pay for. All these girls are learning a hard, hard lesson on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey, look, let, let's be honest. He's an attractive guy. He's obviously charismatic. He's a fucking comedy. Is, attractive Gates, is that guy. attractive? No, he's. I think I don't think he's a bad looking dude. What do you guys think? He's, he's like an fucking interesting. Hot. Well, he's got that gelled hair, and he's then not, those like he's not weird, an ugly guy. I'm with weird, no, white yeah. feet. He looks like a, an attractive guy that someone smudged. He looks right. like a villain, but he's, uh, he's no, not he looks ugly. Like a, he looks like a guy who was naturally not he that looks, attractive, but works really hard at right. being attractive. I agree with you that he looks exactly like what he is a guy who shows right what yeah, yeah. What <laughs> there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of women <laughs> the guy who shows you his home sh- on his yeah. work <laughs> unsolicited <I've been> <laughs> There's a lot of disappointed ladies the next morning who thought he was hotter. I guarantee that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when the, yeah, once the hair goes down, I'm sure he's like a so, bad light guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you yeah. imagine him yeah. like him coming up uh, with that floppy mop? Like if the hair lost its lost its hold and it's just flopping yeah. all over the place, there's gonna be some disappointed <laughs> ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no word on whether the women in the photos are connected with the uh, Department of Justice inv- investigation or sex trafficking allegations. A 17 year old he apparently brought across state lines, uh, but this investigation 
transition into uh, uh, Matt Gates has apparently been um, happening since Trump's last term under Bill Barr, who they were they were investigating another congressman and he was involved. So, uh, right. look, the more you read into this guy, the more you see what a showman he is. Um, here he is wearing a, uh, a gas mask on the House floor. He's threatened people. He threatened Trump's old lawyer, um, Cohen. Um, he's a wild card and a very horny wild card and apparently not well liked on Capitol Hill. Also, according to CNN, uh, quote, one of Gates's official actions as a member of Congress is also gaining uh, fresh scrutiny in the wake of this investigation. In 2017, he was the one member of Congress to vote against the bill designed to create a coordinator in the Department of Transportation responsible for helping states develop policies to prevent human trafficking. So he said he said nay to that one. Uh, hey, yeah, Greg, check. Right. That's tough. That's yeah. tough. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he was the only nay against sex trafficking. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a, yeah. it was a heavy show on his phone to people day. Yeah, that day. yeah. Nay. Nay. He shows a picture. Goes, how do you think I got that? Yeah. Do you think it was a literal gas mask where he was like, I've trapped some farts from this this young lady in this mask. Know. He he definitely looks like a a big time like wears the the panties the soiled panties well, as a gag. Like we'll yeah. see where this investigation uh -huh. goes. But I mean yeah. they yeah, they've got some serious charges leveled against him. And then he's also alleging that he kind of called for the DOJ investigation in some ways because he like you know because they're extorting him or whatever. Right. So well, hey, I hope the extortion guys mess. go down too if that's even half true. But Gates is a horn dog. He's oh, horn clearly. Dog. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, like it, it, through him getting out of it, he's going to be revealed as a huge horn dog. Because this house is going to burn to the fucking ground. It's going to oh, be yeah. right. where there's smoke. There is fucking fire. And right. Yeah. Like it could be a thing where they're all canceled. I think like we were talking about. Yeah. Um, and last thing, also pretty funny. I found this guy on uh, Twitter. Matthew Gertz um, <laughs> is uh, the best. He's, he's dealing with some shit because he, he's in his Twitter bio. He says that he's definitely not the GOP congressman. And today, after the news of uh, Gates showing nudes, he had this to say, oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> He did a he did a scroll video yeah, on his yeah. timeline of him like responding to people. Not me, not me, not me. Wrong he had guy, to do it like a guy. thousand times. It was crazy. Yeah, Matthew so. Gertz. Matthew Gertz. Not <laughs> no regrets. You yeah, scumbag. You fucking scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gertz. They're, they're yeah. trying to get him fired. The the these idiots like know that uh, Matt Matt Gates is a congressman and they find out that this matthew gertz works for somewhere else and they're like trying to get him fired from it because they can't put two and two together <laughs> he's like a, he's in, he's a journalist or something so yeah. he's like in the yeah. in the right. world and so people just confuse right. it it's terrible yeah. people are fucking stupid twitter stupid. is twitter is insane that's what i'm saying twitter <laughs> twitter like when you look at the trends on twitter versus the trends on like google and youtube twitter's just nuts like there's a lot of things that trend on there that's fucking stupid because yeah. twitter's yeah, Twitter, pro Twitter probably causes a thousand suicides from cyberbullying a day. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter will make you crazy. But you know what you can do in order to get that crazy down is take some nice caliper CBD. What's great about CBD is that it helps you feel better without making drastic changes to your routine. But uh, your droppers are full of funny tasting tinctures. The best modern science uh, have to, has to offer. No, those aren't the best modern science has to offer. Not a chance. Meet Caliper, a better way to consume CBD. This past January, Colorado State University published the first peer-reviewed study to compare how different CBD products on the market are absorbed and processed by the body. Caliper CBD was found to deliver 30 times more CBD than CBD oil in the first 30 minutes. So that's important. Gets, it acts fast. Caliper gives you all the benefits of CBD in just 10 minutes. CBD oils can take up to two hours to fully absorb. So, yeah. What's the point? What's the point? What's the fucking point? You got to plan ahead now. Caliper believes everyone deserves a simple way to feel better. Unlike CBD oils, Caliper pa CBD powders completely taste this tasteless mixes easy in any food or drink precisely 20 milligrams in each packet of caliper caliper cbd comes in affordable 30 and 60 count packs unlike some products out there caliper is completely thc free so all the goodness of cbd with no head high just a nice calming feeling get 20 percent off your first order when you use promo code factor at trycaliper.com slash factor you can try caliper cbd risk-free for 30 days if you don't love it they'll give you a full refund try caliper uh, that's trycaliper.com slash factor don't forget promo code factor for 20 percent off your first order the nice. best stuff. Try caliper.com. Caliper is the best. Long time hard Ohio supporters. Yeah. Get in on it. Okay, boys. Got to change the hat for this next story. And uh, Comrade Beeb, I mean, you might want to put yours on too if you got oh. it hanging around. Because, uh, fellas, we're going back to Mother Russia. Okay. Got the Soviet, uh, got the fuzzy Soviet hat on. I think Comrade <laughs> Beeb's popping his hat on. Uh, we got some really bad updates. From Russia, fellas, uh, you no. wouldn't be 
Wouldn't be uh, shocked here, but uh, things are not good for Alexei Navalny and uh, his former doctor over in Russia. Uh, like uh, his his doctor's name was Rustam Agishev, and so there's one picture of him. I'm going to show you another one that I like better. That's him. I thought he looked his best at this point. Uh, Rustam <laughs> is a well-known doctor in Omsk. Uh, he he's the head of the Department of Traumatology and Orthopedics of the hospital BSMP1 in Russia. And according to that hospital's website, he has died at the age of 63. Uh, the local news said that it was a stroke in December 2020. Um, he's the second uh, is person. That, is that what they said? Because it just took one swing from the golf club to kill him? Yeah. A stroke? <laughs> <laughs> hey. they're, they're claiming it's a heart problem, Mark. Uh, he's the second person who works at this hospital die of heart trouble. Uh, and it also happens to be the hospital where Alexei Navalny was treated for poisoning after a failed assassination. Second attempt. doctor that helped him dead. Drop dead. Oh. Second doctor that helped save his life that dropped dead. Yes. So R.I.P. Rustam Agishev. Uh, in February 2021, Deputy Chief Physician for Anesthesiology and Resuscitation at the same hospital, Sergei Max Maximishan, uh, also died of a heart attack at age 55. So um, just a lot of heart attacks going on with these guys that happen to have helped uh, Putin's biggest rival survive uh, the death attempt that he put on him. You know, just uh, normal so, I mean, stuff there. How many doctors helped him? Because they are, they're probably a little bit worried, right? They're next. Well, yeah. if you've ever talked to Navalny, you're, you're not drinking water. You know anymore. who talked to him today? <laughs> I got to add this. So Navalny's being denied medical care and he's on a hunger strike. He's on it. He is. Yeah. Right. So guess who went to see him today? Uh, or yesterday, Maria Butina, the redheaded Russian spy that got shipped back to Russia after infiltrating oh. the uh, oh, just taunting his ass. Yeah, she went on behalf of uh, mm -hmm. RT Network, and uh, Navalny's Twitter account said, Instead of a doctor, Butina, a wretched propagandist from the RT channel, arrived today, accompanied by video cameras. Yep. Well, that's uh, Navalny. Why, what the, why, what's, why did Navalny go back to Russia? What's an interesting thing, too, is they're letting Navalny keep posting on Instagram. So he's being tortured while he's posting. About that's it. not him posting. It's like a, <laughs> it's, it's a really it's a really well, interesting situation. Someone, someone can't deny has you. His account. It's not him. Yeah, yeah there's right. no way it's Navalny. <laughs> right, so he's saying it's <laughs> he him. He's on a team. He has a team. Oh. Oh, he's saying it's him. Yeah, it's like when um uh, McAfee went to prison. He had like a team of interns posting yeah. for him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you saw the picture of him holding his heart, telling his uh, family he'd be back. I don't know if he was right. Uh, like Pat said, Navalny's uh, lawyer reported that his health is deteriorating fastly in the penal colony. Uh, he's on the uh, health uh, on the um, uh, hunger strike. We'll see how it plays out. You think everybody's a little worried. bit of black mold? In yeah. There? But yeah, <laughs> everybody's <laughs> concerned. Apparently, Butina was also shouting that this is the best and most comfortable prison, uh, like for the cameras. Yeah, <laughs> look how comfortable this is. You know, it's comfortable when they're when they're telling you how comfortable the prison is. Uh, the yeah. next thing, also out of Russia, m more bad news. Unfortunately, Russia is also uh, sending a shitload of tanks. Uh, to the Ukrainian border, enough hmm. tanks to disrupt life in general and create a ton of social media videos. If you're interested in watching all the tanks roll towards the Ukrainian invasion, uh, everybody's wondering what the fuck Putin's going to do with all those thousands and thousands and thousands of military vehicles. He's uh, ramming up against the edge of Ukraine in Russia. So that's also people are concerned. Um, and then also uh, it turns out that the Russians last year, you guys remember the solar winds hack? It was Russians, the KGB, or whoever uh, hacked SolarWinds, a big server farm. Uh, mm. tur turns out on that server farm, many more things uh, than was first disclo disclosed, including State Department emails. Uh, so lots of government agencies. It's unclear if it's all the same hack they as SolarWinds. They got Solar everything. Wind, they got everything. It's multiple hacks at the same time, but basically they hacked the entire government last year. They got um, everything. It's why your phone's telling you you got to change your password on all your apps. They got everything. They got it all. So Russia just, uh, yeah, Mother Russia is making moves. That's what's I, happening. You're damn right there. I think the only reason Navalny is still alive is because Putin wants him to like watch all the things he's doing. You see what's happening with the tanks? You will see. <laughs> you, you, like, he's putting on a show. He's yeah. doing the air, the air ice rink uh, June 1st, a couple <laughs> months from now. I mean, he is putting on a show. That is for sure.
All right, guys, let's close out the show uh, with voicemails and reviews. Hell yeah. Uh, real quick, if you don't know or if you're new to the show, mm. leaving a review on Apple Podcasts helps us get into the algorithm. So if you leave us a five-star review, that's the deal. It's got to be five stars. We will read it verbatim as long as it's not racist or so part of some sort of a secret racism uh, group like Wes. Wes is our, our uh, barometer for that. Wes he can will find you. He's yeah. like a bloodhound. Yeah. 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 So don't even try it. Or you can leave us a voicemail at 512 270 1480. 270 1480. Boys, let's get into some voicemails <laughs> first. All right, gentlemen. Here we go. Uh, here we go. You're going to like this. I'm excited about this one here. I bet we, I bet we are. Uh, uh, go. I'm excited. Congrats to. What's going on, fellas? This is Sean calling in from Connecticut. First off, congrats to the Beeve and Kate, of course, on the baby. Um, but I'm calling because I got a question for the boys. Last week, I think it was Friday, there was mention of a hot dog eating contest. And my friends and I, we've been tossing around the idea for a while, but not a hot dog eating contest, but a power hour of mini hot dogs, pigs in a blanket. So, oh. looking for your guys' thoughts, who would win it out of you guys? Include Bubba, too, since he's supposed to be the big eater. But one hot dog, one mini hot dog every minute on the minute. How many are you getting? Only rules, you can't puke within the hour. All right, boys. Have a great fucking day. Wow. All right. I love so, that question. It w yeah, it was. It, we had a hot dog conversation. I don't think I was on that show. We, and then the week before that, it was about um, semen covered biscuits let's, but let's yeah stick in, to the hot dogs let's stick in terms of the hot dogs crackers crackers the hot dog it was a saltine let's decouple those <laughs> oh, okay okay real quick i gotta i gotta uh clarify some things because a lot of callers call in with great contests but the rules are not uh they're not clear here so this what do you think is a power hour, hour for yeah. one hot dog per minute for 60 minutes who it makes be, it the longest who could go the longest right not yes. a hot dog but like a, a big pig in a blanket it's a pig in a blanket. i think his, his his presumption there is that nobody's hitting 60 pigs in a blanket i disagree with him there interesting you think you could go well, 60 well if i mean if you think about it i don't know yeah. how the body works with the fullness but if you're if you're even attempting uh, a hot dog eating contest you're going to eat about 15 to 20 hot dogs if you have any fucking respect for yourself that's that's <laughs> way less than six i mean that's way more food than 60 mini hot dogs so i don't know you if think like so the, oh, oh fuck, how many yeah. mini hot dogs i think how five i think five to seven mini hot dogs equates to a hot dog so one I mean, hot dog Ooh. yeah so let's just say five yeah, four, four to so five yeah that means you couldn't eat 12 whole okay, hot dogs okay, in an hour. okay 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 like, okay what about yes, this what about 60 what about this dogs. what if you doubled it or tripled it you have to eat well you'd have to just go until someone until someone's like you just have to keep going until someone one how many many hot dogs people think they can eat in and out yeah I I well i mean 80 minutes i think i mean like i know when i'm just at like a party and they're around i'm at like i'm at like 20 to 25 in 25 15 minutes, minutes. Yeah. yeah there you go yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's the scenario what's the setting is it a social situation can we stage it in a social situation yeah so why West would we do that eating them yes <laughs> that's that's be what better. i need Wes would dominate. <laughs> Wes is just hitting, hitting hilarious jokes, and shuffling mini hot dogs. Down. I need a, I need a corner and uh, too many and a lot of people better looking than me. And I'm taking them. I'm there taking it down. We don't even need the ding. I'm, I'm, I'm at that table. I like that setting. Yeah, he's, he's, ahead of the clock. Breaking pace. he's ahead of the clock, Pat. He doesn't yeah. need the ding. I think that all of us. Uh, I mean, do you? Does anyone think they couldn't do sixty hot uh, mini hot dogs? Sixty picks and blanket. I think I, I could do forty-two. I don't. Yeah. I, that's for whatever reason. I'd I think 42. that 60 is like probably bigger than Mark than you're giving it credit for. Personally, I think that 60 would be tough. And I think that two of us would make it past 60. I think this is something we could try. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think you start it. getting full is the problem. I think that I could eat 60 you know hot what? dogs in 15 minutes and Here then and then and then, you know, I'd not not throw up, hold it down. But I think your body starts getting full if you have to wait the full minute. Yes. Here it is. And then wait Here the it is. Minute, like the pacer we, test that we yeah. can do this on stream after the fatathon's over okay and we could do this could be the end of fatathon competition and celebration costco just... makes some great uh pigs in blankets oh, and yes. i will make a billion of them. well we can film the, the all of us going to costco too there oh. you go we could also have a competition of who's got the better pigs in a blanket well, well it's, your it's costco, costco or our costco we're, are we gonna oh you're saying them? they're pre-made 
Yeah, they're, they're, they're frozen. Yeah. You just put them oh, in the oven. Beautiful. You're yeah. telling yeah, that's what you're talking about. Easy. Well, I'm yeah. saying I thought it was handmade. I thought he was saying like it's a package. What? Get no, out you can do it with like crescent. I'm rolls saying like I thought dip. he I thought he meant like you got a hand roll sixty met. pigs in a blanket for this. Yeah, thing? sure. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna taste right. better. The best part about the hot dog eating contest on Fourth of July is everyone brings their own. That's the little bonus. You get to see who's got the best hot dog. What's up, guys? This is Colin from California. I called last week. I forgot to say my name. I was 15 bush lights deep. Mm. But today I'm only 12 when I'm calling. Nice. Quick question. What is the weirdest spot you guys have ever gotten day drunk at? Now, for me, we were out at my buddy's house, and like we got day drunk, and then we had a funeral at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and like we were all like, like blocked out drunk for the funeral. So just want to hear your guys' option with that. Love you guys. And have a great fucking day. Hopefully I can hear Pat's voice while I'm listening to my voice on this week. You, you can hear Pat's voice, and I'm sure mm-hmm. that the uh, mother of the dead friend uh, mm-hmm. was pretty stoked that all, I'm assuming, uh, her, yeah. her son's <laughs> boys rolled through they showed up. blackout drunk. Uh, that was more of a, I felt like that was more of like a he needed to get it off his chest situation than a yeah. than a contest for us. But that's cool. Bro. Usually you do you get hammered right after your boy's funeral, right? Like you can have a few before, but right. no judgment here. All right. Um hmm. Best day drunk or like most crazy weirdest. Like in a church. Uh I mean, obviously weddings, right? But that's you know, that's the to be yeah, expected. Not really uh, weird, yeah. I'm gonna have to say, um, just in like on on road trips, probably probably like on rugby trips, that's gonna be the weirdest day drunks because you're always like, it's illegal a every time, um, and b you're just stopping at weird places along the way, like you might mm-hmm. stop at a strange, uh, you know, rural grocery store where everybody's staring at you because you're hammered and you're buying weird shit that nobody ever buys in that grocery store. Um, those are, mm-hmm. those are usually, and people are pissing all the time in the car, usually the craziest, but I don't know if that's a weird, I don't know. I don't have any many good, I don't have, oh, sorry guys. I mean, we I got, did a lot of day drinking. A lot. Yeah. Right. I know, but like, that's what I'm saying. Maybe like, too much to a, remember. Uh, I got, I got one, uh, at some point in college, I met up with my high school ex-girlfriend, uh, and we were both pretty heavy drinkers and we, we met up like at the bar then mm-hmm. like the college parks were both 21 mm-hmm. and we both like had maybe six Long Island iced teas uh, because I think we were both so nervous. And then we walked out of the parking lot and she threw up. Mm. Yeah, that didn't stop me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, never no, does. She, you never know does. I think, end. come on, yeah. we've all been there. Pat. She wanted to continue. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, it was, it I've was consensual. a bunch of those. In the end, it was consensual, right? Okay. A lot, so a lot of like, oh, you know, it, like years after that, I got a weird one. Crawls and you got, <laughs> yes, here we go, Wes. Um, so I was driving back with my friend, um, in college, this girl, uh, we were just strictly friends. Um, and she, we were driving back to her, her town in West Virginia. She lived in like bumfuck West Virginia. And on the way she gets a call that someone from her town, which is like, you know, a high school of like 30 people had killed himself. So we're like drinking. Um, and, and we ended up having to go to this guy's like, open casket funeral and i don't really know how much day drinking like how drunk i was but i was definitely drinking before the funeral but then i ended up being part of this like small west virginia community that everyone did i was like the like an outsider and i was getting hammered with these people and it was because this guy killed himself wow that's yeah. a weird intense yeah i think that'll take it yeah all right yeah, yeah. moving on last voicemail <laughs> so that was good that was a good one Brought back some memories. A couple funerals. Sure. Wes and the, the other guy. Yeah. All right. From California. They didn't like me. What's going on, y'all? This is Brandon from South Carolina. I was listening to today's episode, and now we're talking about the whole fat boy summer thing. And I understand how the white boy summer isn't inclusive, you know, to anybody that's not a white guy. But to the same point, fat guy, fat boy summer is only really inclusive to fat people. So it's really kind of the same issue. No. You know what I mean? Kind of trend the interesting line there except you know obviously i don't think skinny people are going to get upset about it but either way you're kind of doing the same thing anyway hope you have a great fucking day and i love the episode thanks nice will you want to take this one well I, what i would say about fat boy summer what i'm trying to get across here 
is that it's not just for fat boys. Okay. Right. It's, it's, it's about, it's about having the fat boy mindset. Okay. A fat boy can be a fat boy in body. He could be a fat boy in his mind. Okay. Just think, just think about uh big pun fat Joe. Okay. These are guys that embodied the fat boy mindset. Yes. All right. You don't have to be 500 pounds to, to live in that mindset and just have a good di- time run trains for three days. Okay. And that's mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. Is it, is it, you just get into that fat boy mindset, fat boy summer, and everything goes. You try to go outside as much as you can and take your shirt off when you feel comfortable as much as you can. And then you try to relax and have a good time. Those are literally the only rules little- of fat boy summer so far. And yeah. it's just yeah. about, it's just about getting into the mindset. So I'd say that, I'd say that skinny guys, you could maybe benefit from fat boy summer the most little, little brown hairs downstairs. You, you nasty, nasty twin. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, totally like a fat boy doesn't have <laughs> fat boy does this fat show. Fat boy doesn't, um, like say no to the extra side of mashed potatoes on the patio this summer. Right. A fat boy doesn't roll a skinny joint. You know, you put a little right. bit extra in the joint this summer. It doesn't have anything to do with weight. It has to do with letting loose a little bit and being a little bit looser on your fucking uh, restrictions on life. Looser on yeah. yourself. Just be, be, looser, looser, on be yourself. a little looser enjoy, on enjoy yourself. Enjoy life Give yourself a little a more break. this summer. That's fat boy mm-hmm. summer. Enjoy your fucking summer. Yeah. It's about yep. waking up in the morning and saying, I'm going to have a fat fucking day today. Yes. Mm. That's right. Absolutely. So that includes that's inclusive of anyone that wants to have a good summer. Yeah. Unless you're dead. Thank you for listening to Hard Factor, guys. <laughs> what? We really appreciate you. We'll think about it's it. Call, calling sense. it back to yeah. the old hey. The old, uh, In that case, we'll be drunk at your funeral. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come through. My mom's going to love it. Um, <laughs> he had such good friends. Uh, <laughs> thanks for listening to Hard Factor, guys. We love you. Uh, hey, check out our Patreon if you want more. Uh, oh, on Tuesday, mm. uh, Tuesday's uh, Patreon, Florida Man Friday, Ooh, uh, uh, and well, Florida Man Friday is electric today. Uh, get it, and then on Tuesday, I'm going to tell a story about how uh, Caleb Fowler from Kings of Leon almost punched me in the face. Oh, uh, shit. also, that's on nice. Hive Hour next week, nice. and then Pat, also, after that, looks like we've got another topic. People mm. want to know what it's like to be a new dad, and also, Wes can give tips on that too. An how to old dad. dad, how to dad. So, have a great fucking oh, wait. weekend. Wait, oh, oh, hold on, I, I, one more I, thing. One more thing. One more thing. Mm. Uh, if you join up uh, for sending the car tier on Patreon right now today, that's the best day to do it. We got two happy hours coming up in this month in April because we missed one in March. So we're going to have two happy hours. Usually it's one per month. Uh, that's the send in the car tier on uh, patreon.com slash hard factor. Very fun. It's that's tonight. Now. Go have a great fucking weekend.